Nya hello. I know why you clicked this video. Here is 20 win streak diamond 1 rank result by a Japanese top ranker. I am not click baiting so let's get that out of way. I know a lot of people hate this deck being on the receiving end. This channel provides unbiased of current strongest or most fun deck. Therefore, let's talk about Rinnick Guide. I climbed from Platinum to Diamond using the pure mathmech build listed in description, and from Diamond to Diamond 1 using Floodgate Rinnick during early season. Here is my version of the build. It is different than the other, because of continue optimization and meta adjustment. I am going to quickly go over the basics. When in doubt, pause this video and go read the card effects. A link is provided in the description. All Rinnick quick spells share same common effect which is special summon runic monster from extra deck to extra monster zone. So when look at cards in hand you can basically ignore the second bullet point. As for the first bullet point, well, go read them yourself. Note that each spell is hard once per turn, so you can only activate one of the effects per turn. Undoubtedly the most busted card in this archetype. Allow you to activate runic quick spells from hand during opponent turn. When a runic spell is activated, you can target up to 3 runic quick play spells from graveyard return to deck, then draw same number of cards. Note that this effect is soft once per turn, so by swapping with a new field, you can draw up to 3 cards again. You see why it is busted. Another hidden effect no one really talk about is, the reason why I run less floodgates here is, cards returned by fountain effect is placed at the bottom of deck. For example, I trigger Fountain and recycle 3 Rinnick cards. This effectively shrinks your non-Rinnick quick spell card pool, together with upstarts and demise etc. This puts your chance of grabbing floodgates much higher. When you repeat this few times, shrinks the specific draw pool even smaller. Now, what if I do want to draw the Rinnick quick spells you might ask? This is where cards that shuffles deck come in. The way you can tell is, either they have the keyword shuffle stated in the card text, or it is a search effect. You know, like how you would search a specific card in a physical game. You open your deck and look for it. Since doing so let you know your card order and deck. For fairness purpose, the deck has to be shuffled. This is little advanced play. You will learn more when you play it. I don't want to bore you with technical details. Let's quickly go over other notable cards. Hugin's protection can be at resolution. Meaning you can chain onto opponent Feather Duster and summon her. She would still be able to negate. On the other hand Munin's protection is at activation, meaning if opponent use effect to target destroy Rinnick or set card, she must be already on field to negate. Rinnick's skip battle phase restriction counter only start counting if you actually attempt to enter battle phase. For whatever reason you need to attack, just remember to go into battle phase anyway as habit. Because if you use one Rinnick quick play, and directly go into end phase, you will still be locked from battle even after 10 turns even if you did not use any Rinnick spell after, until you manually enter battle phase. The talking point of this deck. When have no set card, prevent all field monster effect activation and attack. Note that this does not apply to continuous effect. You can have funny combo where you block your own Amano's return to hand effect, since it is only trigger on the turn you summon him effectively puts him on field permanently, which prevent all opponent monster effects. Yes, this including hand, field, graveyard, banish, deck. Plus the other floodgates used in this deck, to lock your opponent down while you mill their deck empty. You see why this deck is so hated by the community. But it is one of the strongest deck right now, so we will be talking about it. Let's go into some gameplays. Dual start. Unfortunately we did not start with any floodgate. Let's dig it by using Fountain Recycle effect. Opponent activated Droll and Lock Bird, which prevents us from adding any card from main deck to hand. Place field and attempt to survive till next turn. Looks like we are playing against Math Mech. Use Rinnick Tip to search for Flashing Fire. Then use it to destroy Circular before he is able to search any card. Use Freezing Curse to negate Diameter. For few reasons. First we force them to use Sigma effect right now. And secondly, they are going to go into Alimbertion with Diameter as material, giving them an Omni negate for this turn. And third, we be able to fill Graveyard with 3 Rinnick quick spells for 3 draws. We are basically going to dodge Diameter Omni negate by special Rinnick Fong before they XYZ. Opponent then use Alum to add Addiction. Go into Splash Mage then Heat Soul. 
Reason why opponent not attacking is Runic Fangs has destruction effect that target destroy opponent card. Upstart is very good at shrinking your deck size down. We don't care about them gaining health since our win condition is mill their deck empty. Use Fountain to recycle again after Slumber target protect Fangs, or more importantly, banish 4 of opponent deck. Usually in case like this we want to save Runic Destruction to kill opponent spell trap to keep 5 Rainbow Lock. A good tip is have a backup Runic Quick Spell for case when opponent negate your field recycle. As you can see, we can trigger draw every turn. You want to hold Toggle on to destroy their set card, because Toggle Auto will not prompt if they set card. Reason why we do this is prevent opponent from activating speed 1 monster effect by using 5 Rainbow Lock. This is just bad case because Heat Soul is quick play speed 2 so they can chain onto it anyway. Looks like they are going to attempt access code lethal. Since access code has no protection, let's save flashing fire for that. It is looking like our plan backfire. Opponent is summoning access code to Colink with Transcode Poker, which prevent opponent from targeting them with effect. So killing Heat Soul instead, less damage is good. Plus they are going to wipe our field with access code. By then we won't be able to trigger on hand Rinnick Quick Spell. Also access code has effect which you cannot chain onto. Note that Fangs was protected by Slumber effect. Then we use his Destroy effect to whack their set card in preparation for next 5 Rainbow. Voila, opponent can't activate monster effect, nor attack again. Pot to grab Rinnick tip. Then use it to search flash fire. Trigger field to draw 3. Swap with our second field. Normal Amano which will prevent them from ash. Like we said before, 5 rainbow will prevent Amano from returning to hand. As long as we have no set card only for this turn, because his return only trigger on the turn he is summoned. Voila, we now have 2 permanent floodgate. Fill graveyard with spell again by triggering curse. Then flash fire destruction. Then we can draw 3 cards again. But I didn't because I didn't need to waste time. Because, well, their deck is empty. Remainders are additional gameplays. Thank you for watching.
Allure is cut in latest version, since its effect is relatively weak. As we've seen before you don't need to use this continuous spell to mill opponent deck empty, but it is very good in a mirror match when you race with other Runic. If you face a lot of Runic, consider adding it.
This game is an example of how to know your opponent if they don't place any card on field.